guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, I am Ana Maria and you are watching Miracle Orchids, the place you can learn everything there is to know about growing orchids. Okay, so in this video we are going to work with this uh, Zygopetalum orchid. We are going to cut off the dead um, pseudobulbs, the ones which uh, rotted away. We are going to repot it in a uh, uh, terrestrial mix or semi-terrestrial mix because this orchid is a semi-terrestrial orchid. And uh, then I am going to give you some care tips for it. So, I have already take uh, away these uh, dead sheets from uh, around the pseudobulbs. We can see that here I have a rotten um, pseudobulb. I can safely cut uh, now the uh, spike. We don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, this orchid uh, reacted really, really suspicious. By the way, this is my Zygopetalum Angel Bloom. And remember, if you want to see more tutorials like this, 7 days a week, go ahead and click that subscribe button over here, so you know when I upload something new. So let's see what it is happening inside the pot, because uh, this orchid is really, really suspicious for me. And here it is, it seems that it has a bacterial infection on the roots. I don't uh, recall right now the name of uh, the bacteria which makes... Uh, all the roots uh, to die. I am uh, happy though that uh, at least the medium is coming off easily. So you can see with a gentle uh, tapping of the roots, the medium is coming right off, which is good. At least uh, that part is done. Uh, now, on uh, this suitable which rotted away, we can see that uh, it can still uh, grow a new growth, but this one didn't. So. Uh, I will just cut it from here and it's not green so I can cut a bit further. Uh, you should uh, make sure you sterilize uh, prior uh, to cutting the sterilizing tool, in my case the pruners. I uh, need to cut a lot of uh, dead roots. They are mushy, they are dead they serve no purpose to the orchid. I am not uh, very sure why uh, the orchid uh, contacted this uh, bacterial infection on the roots because I did not overwater it. My suspicion is that it came uh, with it and it seems that uh, I have uh, made a division by mistake. So that is that. Not a very, sorry, not a very intelligent uh, thing to do when <laughs> you are dealing with a zygopetalum, but uh, it happened. And uh, I think it has a fusarium, which you would explain, because I see a bit of red on the rhizome. Come on. So in here I see a bit of red. Nice. So uh, if uh, this uh, division is so small, I'm not sure if uh, it would survive. And to make sure my orchid is clean, I will cut in the rhizome again. And I do see something around the suitable, if you see. Here we have some redness, but it's not really a clean... Uh, Diagnose, let's say the orchid might have been infected in the past as well. It, uh, that it's not necessary. That is a recent infection, and it might be able to fight it off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has a fusarium. Look at this. Sorry. So we have redness around here. I cut uh, a bit too much, but uh, I would say that the cause of the infection is uh, indeed the uh, fusarium. Also, fusarium is. Um, uh, responsible for uh, making the uh, roots to rot, so uh, I will cut off all that part and um, I will try to save it because uh, if you don't know, I have a full tutorial about um, Fusarium and how to get rid of it, and in some cases it is possible, in some it is not, so. Uh, you should uh, at least try it before you throw away the orchids. If you believe you can, of course, uh, 
keep uh, a very good uh, hygiene because that is uh, imperious when you have uh, orchids with a uh, fusarium so uh, yeah guys I will also cut away this uh, part of the suitable is for no use anymore is mushy and um, on the wound I will put cinnamon because um, I do not want to cut any further I have this new growth which is growing and it also has a root which uh, did not want it to go inside the pot meaning uh, the medium was not uh, on its liking I have some growing root tips which is nice and um, the best advice is uh, I give you in my ebook uh, how to get rid of uh, Fusarium so you should go and check that out I will leave you a link in the description uh, of this video and also in the comment section below and we are going to try to save it uh, many times I uh, have succeeded a few times I have failed it depends on the orchid and uh, how strong it is and how well you apply the fusarium uh, treatments and uh, what access you have to the chemicals because without those those I don't think you can do it so this is pretty much all this is what I am left with now it is time to spray the orchid with hydrogen peroxide 3% I will do this off camera I will spray everything everything and um, I will come back after uh, 5 minutes uh, to let the orchid fizz properly Okay guys, so here is my orchid, you can see it is cleaned, I have sprayed it with hydrogen peroxide 3% and I know I uh, said I will put cinnamon in here but I have changed my mind because I see uh, the roots from this uh, new growth uh, are a bit uh, wild so they go around this thing and I am afraid that uh, they might uh, touch it and uh, the root tip will uh, dry up and die so I want to prevent that. So, um, for the purpose uh, of this video, I will use uh, Dr. Soil uh, Substrate for orchids. It's super, super good. I have tested it in the past. This is uh, a sample to test uh, again from the same company, from uh, Dr. Soil, uh, which is uh, pretty much the platform gradinart.com. Oh, that uh, raw, sorry. Um, and uh, it contains 70% uh, pine bark, very small pine bark, uh, white peat, bio humus, and some organic material. It is uh, quite fine and uh, it is very, very good for uh, uh, terrestrial and semi terrestrial orchids. So I will put a small amount on the bottom. I think this will be enough. I will use a 90 cm pot. We don't need a bigger pot. The orchid only has two suitable bulbs and a new growth, not a lot of roots. So, um, yeah. This orchid doesn't like to grow uh, aerial roots. It cannot uh, actually um, adjust to grow uh, roots in the air. So, I will uh, make sure the base is inside the medium. Also, this orchid likes a lot of moisture, which. Uh, means that you will need to keep it constantly moist, which I will do also. Um, I will try to make sure we don't have any air gaps. And I don't know what is happening outdoors with those birds that they make so much noise. Uh, normally this orchid needs to be constantly moist but because uh, it is recently reported and I have cut off some roots I don't want the wounds to get infected so I will leave it uh, dry for a few days maybe maximum one week don't forget to put out the tag and after that I will water it constantly like uh, any zygopetalum needs to these are intermediate uh, growers so uh, they uh, would require uh, maximum 25 celsius uh, if you can keep it under they will be even happier so uh, that is what i am going to do they do require a good amount of sun maybe 2500 maybe 3000 foot candles uh, a bit more than oncidium light i would say to rebloom and um, 
Yeah, uh, they do require quite a lot of uh, nutrients, but uh, you need to give them good nutrients. And this is why I like so much this uh, substrate, because it already contains uh, biohumus, which will provide everything the orchids need to grow uh, properly and uh, rebloom. So, uh, this orchid will not require to be fertilized for six months because of the biohumus that is added in this um, medium. So, uh, that will uh, simplify a lot because uh, every orchid that I have embarked only needs to be watered with tap water or rainwater, and uh, I will not add anything for six months, which uh, is uh, very much to my liking. So, this is pretty much how she looks like. As I said, I will let her. Um, like this for about a week because I don't want to water it. I want the roots to get uh, sealed off where I have cut, where I have made a wound. And uh, if you want to know more about Fusarium and how to treat it, I will leave uh, you, as I said, uh, a link in the comment section below and in the description box with my video and with my ebook. And with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching and see you all next time. Bye!